Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Suzy coming to you today with a new car vlog episode da 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 I don't know what it is <laughs> so if you're new to my channel welcome if you like what you see please hit the like button don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube I also put upload information on my Instagram page I'll be sure to put that link below sorry I just pulled out of Starbucks and if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so I just pulled out of Starbucks. I didn't really want to record because I didn't know what I was getting and I wanted to do a little TikTok research first. So I went on TikTok to look for these specific drinks. So I ended up getting this Grande. It's not my normal drink. This better be good because this is not my normal drink. And the bottom of this cup feels cold. But it is a an Americano, which I didn't even know what that was. I literally looked it up before I start recording. So it's an Americano with three pumps of sugar-free vanilla because they didn't have the sugar-free cinnamon dolce and some heavy whipping cream and no simple sugar. So we about to see what's going on. I didn't think this was hot. It's not hot. It's not hot. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It don't taste bad, but it is not hot. Not at all whatsoever. Literally, it's warm. Mm. I hit a bump. I ain't going to lie, though. It's good. It could use one Splenda packet. This is my first time ordering it. It could use, it could use one Splenda packet. But it's good. It's good. Seriously, I would order this again, but can I get my stuff hot, please? This is literally lukewarm. Somebody could drink this. It's warm. So when I get back home, I'll heat it up. It's good, though. And I got my bacon egg bites with that Gouda cheese. Mm, mm, mm. So anyway, this is going to be kind of quick. I, I needed to get on here because I um, needed to tell you guys what happened to me last week. So this was on last Thursday. And by the way, today is Monday the 11th. I'm recording on the 11th and I'm gonna post this on the 11th. Let me get over here. And I feel like I'm getting a cold. You know how you can feel it? I feel like I'm getting a cold. And I've been sneezing and everything. I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. Oh, paying all in a video, sorry. Sorry. Um, but yes, today is Monday the 11th, last Thursday. I just try to condense this as much as I can, but I was having lunch. I was eating an egg salad sandwich. So I was sitting in the kitchen watching YouTube. <laughs> eating my egg salad sandwich and I went to my pantry when I was done to grab some peanut M&M's. I get the peanut M&M container from Sam's Club. So I just grabbed a few, maybe like six or whatever. I just grabbed a few because, you know, you got to have that salt sugar balance. So I uh, went to eat the candy and in the last bite, when I was done, I thought I felt something down in my teeth and I'm like you know trying to work it out with my tongue I go to the cabinet I get a toothpick and then it felt like man is that down in my gums like what happened like what did I do so I'm thinking part of the shell from the M&M's was like stuck 
So I go rinse my mouth and everything still there. I'm like, what is this? So I go into my bedroom and man, I looked in the mirror. And when I tell you my very last tooth on the right hand side in the back was completely split in half. Like this. I like kind of jumped back from the mirror like, oh my God. So I have a, a, a full mirror that is on my door. And don't ask me why I went to the other mirror. Honey, I said, you. I know you lying. So I went to the second <laughs> mirror and I looked, I was like, what happened? So I called the dentist immediately. I love my dentist. I love my dentist. He is just so awesome. They're great there, but anywho. So I um, call him and I say, listen, well, I didn't talk to him directly. I talked to someone on his team there. And um, when I was explaining to her what happened, she said, oh, it sounds like your wisdom tooth. Can you come in on Tuesday? I was like, excuse me. Like when I tell y'all, I couldn't even, I, I couldn't even close my mouth. Like I could do this, but I could not bring my teeth together. You know what I'm saying? And literally on the phone with her, I was drooling. I was drooling. Even on the phone with her. I was like, uh, and I said to her, I said, excuse me? I was like, are you serious? <laughs> so I don't know if he heard me. He said, let me, let me look at your chart. And I told her, I don't know if I said this, but she thought it was a wisdom tooth. I said, I got my wisdom teeth pulled more than 10 years ago. And I told her, no, I, 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 I said, I don't think I can wait to Tuesday. So he said, okay, can you get in here at 2.30? I said, I will be there. Honey, yes, I got there. I was so upset. I called Elliot and he's like, do you need me to come home? I said, no, I'm not in any pain. Like they were asking me on the phone, was I in any pain? I was not in any pain. That wasn't... um the, the issue, I was not in any pain. Uh, it was a, a lot of discomfort because you couldn't bring your teeth together. I ain't even talk about biting down. You couldn't have your teeth touch because that's when it got very uncomfortable. So when I went in, hold on, let me see. Cause I had to show y'all what he kept doing. I was like, well, you stop doing that. So he looked and he was like, oh my gosh. He was like, in all my years of doing this, he said, literally, I don't even need all my fingers on both hands to count how many times I've seen a tooth actually split completely down the middle. And he was like, when you can do this, and I was like, will you stop doing that, please? <laughs> because it was like, like, bruh. <laughs> it's my teeth and he was like it he said be thankful it didn't go down to the the nerve he said because if it would have gone down to the nerve i don't even think you would have been able to drive here somebody probably would probably would have had to bring you you would have been in excruciating pain and i'm like what the devil so of course i'm praying thanking god then that that's not what happened so they were like they were gonna need to take an x-ray and she's the one assistant was like can you bite down on this i was like sis i don't think so so she told him you know she doesn't think she can bite down on this and he said well if you can't that's okay we can take a pan panoramic x-ray he said that's when it just goes around your head you know you just stand there and i was like oh and so when he left the room, she said, listen, I don't know if you have insurance or not, but she said, this is what she said. I don't know if you have insurance or not, but it doesn't even matter. She said, that is so expensive. She was like, you better bow down on this. And I was like, uh, okay. And it was, it was uncomfortable. It didn't hurt. I don't know. It didn't hurt. It was just very uncomfortable 
very uncomfortable. And um, because it felt like you were shoving something back down in your tooth whenever you would bite down. So then um, they take the pictures and he's like, oh, thank goodness. He was like, um, it's like it split and then went off to the right. He was like, so you'll be okay. It split and it went off to the right. It did not um, go straight down where we have to worry about it hitting the nerves. And he's just talking and talking. And he says, so we're just gonna pull it out like a baby tooth. And I was like, oh, okay. Now he said he was gonna use something. He said, so let me numb you up. Oh, which that part there. I mean, I'm not afraid or anything of the dentist. I don't be losing my mind and passing out. I'm not afraid of the dentist, but bruh, that numbing, I'm sorry. I can't. But, so he numbed me up. First time he numbed me, he waited a couple minutes. He came back. He said, do you feel it down here? I said, no. Girl, you know, he gave me that second shot. He said, okay, I'm gonna have you set up. As soon as I set up, my whole bottom jaw, jaw was like, whoa. I told my husband, that is some creepy stuff. And he was like, really? I said, you know what? Don't make me go there with you. I'm telling you, that's some creepy stuff where all you, all he had to do was sit me up and that medicine went joint. My whole jaw was just gone. So he came back after a few minutes of letting it sit and he was like, okay, I'm gonna see if you're really numb. And he asked me, you know, you know, my tongue, blah, blah, blah. And so he reached in and he's like, can you feel that? God knows what he was doing. I was like, no, I can't feel it. Girl, why did he said, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and take it out. Why did he put two fingers in my mouth and literally said, boop, there it is. I was like, are you, and I said, I know all these people in here are like, what is going on over there? I was like, are you serious? He pulled that <laughs> with his hand out of my mouth. Child, crazy. And he did tell me, which made me feel so much better. Y'all know how self-conscious I am about everything. He was like, this is considered a dental emergency. He was like, I get so many pictures and phone calls and texts and it's not an emergency. He said, I would have left home and met you up here to fix this. This was a dental emergency. He was like, there's no way you could have went to Tuesday. No way. He said, because you can't eat. And, and I told my husband, I wonder if I, they're going to say you're going to have to be on a liquid diet because you can't chew. But then what was bad is you can't really talk because you're drooling. So you don't make a mistake and bite down. But he was so nice and got it all fixed up, patched up, filled in, but I gotta go back because I had to get a, a cap over it. And so my daughter was like, just have them pull it out. And I said, she said, I, well, first she said, I did pray that they were able to fix it. She said, I would have hated that they weren't able um, to fix it because then that means you would have had to wait. And um, I said, I know. I said, literally, I said a prayer in a chair that they were able to fix it. And uh, what did she say? She said, but why won't you just get it pulled out? And I said, because they don't do that. They don't just snatch your teeth out for no real good reason. If they can fix it, they want to fix it. And I said, and it's able to get fixed. The child, yes. Is that not awful, y'all? Well, it's not awful because they fixed it. But can y'all believe that happened to me? <laughs> Eat my egg salad, said, cause he said, cause, and he said to me, the peanut M and M's didn't do this. He said you didn't feel anything. There was no hint, no indication that there was something wrong before this. And I told him yes. I said the day before. Y'all know those little frosted animal cracker cookies? They're frosted and they have the little sprinkles on it. I told him I had some of those and one of the little frosting nah, one of those sprinkles hit me right in that special spot and I was like whoa you know you kind of be like whoa and I had told my husband that night man I need to get into the dentist you know and I told him what happened very next day my, my tooth split in half 
Y'all better go to the dentist. Y'all better go to that dentist, honey. Isn't that awful? <laughs> so, that was my Thursday. And then, <clears throat> Friday, Maya was asking me about, and y'all tell me, and I know, you guys know my husband and I are older. Um, so a lot of Samaya's friends, they are the big sister. When see Samaya's the baby. They are the big sister. And these kids be like seven, eight years old. And they're the oldest. And what happened was, is someone, and just tell me if you think I was wrong. Somebody in her class was having a birthday party. This little boy was having a birthday party. He wrote down his address and the times of the party on little pieces of ripped up paper. And Friday when she, I said, oh, I need to call his mom. That's what I do. I need to talk to the parent. And when I went to do that, all we had was the address and the time of the party. So I thought about it and I did. I told her she, she couldn't go. And I told her she couldn't go because I didn't have any type of way of contacting the parent. And I found that it was inappropriate to get there and say, hey, blah, 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 blah. You know, I was like, I thought I told her was more what to me is I need to know that you're going to be in a safe environment. We would have, one of us would have stayed. Of course, I would have stayed. But to know that you're in a safe environment, everything's okay. And I didn't even mind her going. But I was asking my oldest daughter, like, am I crazy that I'm thinking somebody could have came up with some type of inf information, even if you didn't go to the Dollar Tree and buy them. Like, and she said, mom, honestly, she said, I don't, she said, there's nothing wrong with what you're saying. But she said, in this day and age, I bet you any amount of money she posted it on Facebook. I told her, listen here, I didn't even look on Facebook. <laughs> I didn't even look on Facebook. She said, I bet you any amount of money she posted it on Facebook. And that's where the information was. And she was like, and you guys just didn't see it. But she was like, no. She was like, you raised us to do stuff like that. You know, you invite them where you you can talk to the parent. And that's how I feel. Like when somebody has a little friend calling her and the little girl just start calling. And I called back and I said, can I, you know, hi, this is Miss Suzette you know, Samaya's mom, is it okay I speak to your mom? And she's like, yeah. And so I talked to her mom and said, you know, I just wanted to let you know that so-and-so was calling uh, and just to make sure that it was okay. And she was like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. But that's how I handle things. Everybody's not gonna handle thing that things that way. And I think it's just because Elliot and I, you know, kind of being from a different type of generation. But was I wrong for not letting her go? So Saturday, that's when it ended up being a mother-daughter. Well, Elliot went too. Elliot did go with us. We like had the whole day out. And we went to this gigantic, a candy store that's probably 30 45 minutes away from me huge and she went to the ice cream shop we got our little nasty whatever they call sodas we got a bunch of candy and when I tell you it's candy there it's candy from way back in the day to candy like they sell right now that is huge huge and we went did that and then we went and stopped uh, for lunch at Red Robin and then after that we came home so we were gone all day we were all tired seriously we were all tired um, but I was asking her was I wrong for not letting her go y'all see how I said
second guess myself because I felt bad for not being able for not letting her go but then I was like bruh no no. <laughs> no but her friend went her friend went and so I said is your friend the oldest or is she the youngest and at first Amaya didn't understand and then she finally said yes her other siblings, who they are, are um, child, I don't know if they had some kind of issue or what, but there is a bunch of clothes on the outside of my neighbor's uh, house. And trash get picked up on, um, <laughs> on Thursdays, honey. So I don't know, somebody putting somebody out or what's going on. But it, child, I don't know what's going on. There's clothes everywhere. But anywho, I forgot what I was talking about. But her friend went, her friend went. And Samaya, bless her heart, bless her heart. Cause I said to my husband, I know it is so hard for her being my only child, basically. You know what I mean? I'm like, I know it is so hard for her being the only child, cause, uh-uh. And she has to understand with her parents not being 30 years old or whatever, that we see things differently. But when uh, my oldest was like, oh, she probably just put it up on Facebook. I felt like so dumb, like, think to even look there like for what where's that piece of paper at so but I know better next time to you know cause I was even seeing to my daughter I'm like they didn't even I'm not saying you have to go out and buy invitations I'm not even saying that you know you get some construction paper you fold it and have it in fours, you rip it, and you just write the information on there. It, it don't gotta be no big deal as far as I'm concerned. I'm not that bougie. It don't have to be that big of a deal. But can I get something with a parent's name and phone number so I can contact them? And I'm gonna tell you something, in this day and age, I you just can't trust people like you used to. You just really can't. I'm sorry. You want to, but you can't. Wow, you can't even see these trees. I'm sorry. Stay on topic, Suzette. So, that's why I didn't do my live Saturday. It just was, let me do something extra special for her, which she completely, you know, was so excited. She had a really good time. That was my week last week. That was my week last week. I'm good to go now. So I'm gonna let you guys go. My tooth is fine. Samaya's fine. Everything's good. Ah, these bumps. Alrighty guys, I will talk to you next week. You all remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed.